Hi, Susan Ferris is a neurodevelopmental specialist, author, speaker, and expert on helping children overcome dyslexia and childhood anxiety. She performed the first study using neurodevelopmental exercises to increase reading speed in kids with learning disabilities, resulting in a 300% increase in reading speed. She joins us today to give us some tips on the brain and how to tell if your child suffers from childhood and anxiety. And we'll talk more about these peacock feathers here, here in just a second. We're going to do an exercise. Absolutely. To help the brain out. So the Anxiety and Depression Association of America says one in eight kids has anxiety now. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. And so parents aren't really sure, you know, is it real or not? So here's three tips that you can use to know if your child has anxiety. Physical complaints, headaches, stomachs, stomach aches, fatigue. Right. If they always think worst case scenario, something really bad's going to happen. Yeah. Or if they're very clingy. So what this is from is your nervous system not being fully developed, and that's because of this fear paralysis reflex. So if they have an active fear paralysis reflex, they may have one or more of the following symptoms. They don't adapt to change well, they have oppositional behavior, don't play well with others, obsessive compulsive behaviors, temper tantrums, irrational fears. But the other reflex that can cause anxiety in kids is called the Moro reflex, okay. and that's light sensitivity and hurt to comb their hair. Wow. I know parents out there are familiar with this one. Sound sensitive, motion sensitive. These are signs of the reflex that tell us that the child is oversensitive to the environment. Their nervous system hasn't fully developed. All so right. we can change that. And you work with uh, what, what age range of children? Primarily elementary age because we really like to catch it early before they've lost their self-esteem and their self-confidence. It's really important to us to start early, but we work with people of all ages, honestly. Right, yeah, I think you were telling me you worked with 80-year-old 80, yes. 80 plus. Yes, people who had strokes. Wow, very impressive. Okay, we have these peacock feathers, and there's an exercise. I think this is actually going to help me and even the weather department, maybe severe weather type situations. We oh. have a lot of anxiety sometimes, a lot of you know, big Brilliant storms coming idea. in. And this will actually kind of help to relax or actually help the brain out. You put, right. your, put this feather on your finger and... And look at the top. Oh. That's the trick. Look what? at the top. Now, when you do this, you're practice. using your peripheral vision, and that activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of fight or flight. Okay. It's the part of your nervous system that says, relax, recover. Right. So you can pick these up at an arts and crafts store. Okay. And you want them about three feet long is your ideal length. And you can also use a yardstick when this gets too easy. Now, if there are parents out there that have a child who's struggling with anxiety in private school or if the stay-at-home mom that's worried about their kids, if they'll contact me today, I'll send them a free report that tells them something that they can do to help their kids with anxiety. That, that is very impressive. A lot of, uh, we hear a lot of cases of people medicated with anxiety and, and this type of thing. Um, just exercises like this without medication can help out somebody. Tremendously. Very impressive. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. And I, I need to practice this a little bit more. Uh -huh. But you look at the top, right? Look at the, the top. top. The that is the trick, is you're looking at the top, which makes you use your peripheral vision to try to see your hand. All so right. you don't even know you're doing it, and you're doing brain work. Very calming. It makes you feel very peaceful. We're going to have to get one of these in the Weather Center. I'm sure. going to leave some with you. Are you going to do that? I am. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Susan. You're so welcome. All right. Susan Ferris. You can contact her at 918-629-2689. There's a look at her, uh, at her uh, email address right there, Susan, at brainfitnessstrategies.com. Great information right there.